We have, you know, four. Oh. I think there's a raccoon stuck in the wheel arch. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to Tearspec TV. We get a lot of comments on this channel about how do we have so many Land Rovers, where do all these Land Rovers come from, and our response is usually that there is actually a lot more going on behind the scenes and a lot of stuff you don't see uh, compared to what actually appears on the channel. And today, we're going to show you one of those things. So, here we got the old Range Rover Classic uh, fitter with the standard 3.5 V8 together with the gearbox, I actually don't know, it's an automatic gearbox and I think it's a three-speed, I've never heard of Land Rover putting a three-speed gearbox in it. Uh, and of course, transfer to the good old OT230 in a very old stage, uh, pretty much Mark 1 as you could call it. Uh, other than that, pretty damn beautiful vehicle. Uh, this is what Bob would have looked like if he wasn't all cut up and missing loads of pieces uh, as well. Now this one is the top of the range model you could have back then. The only thing that's missing is it needs to be bulletproof, which it isn't. But you got air conditioning, complete leather interior, automatic gearbox, uh, all of those really nice features. That was high class. Now the history of the vehicle is that we got the United Nations sticker up here. And as well as the number plate, as you just saw, is the uh, UNP. Uh, which we think stands for the United Nations Police. So this has been driving around somewhere very nice and hot. Therefore they needed the air conditioning and therefore the frame isn't completely gone. It's actually looking in very good state and that's because they're not using salt. It hasn't been snowing uh, very mu uh, much where it's been driving around for the past many years. Uh, the story from that is when it was done in service we think it might have been scrapped because the engine got seized up and that could be uh, you know, oil or water uh, that's done that. So the old engine is actually right in the back. Uh, so we got it here to TSPEC uh, with an engine that wasn't working, uh, so that had to get ripped out. And found out the engine was seized, and we have to source another 3.5 engine here. And then I had to do a lot of swapping parts over. But the engine we then brought second hand actually had a low compression on one of the cylinders, and that was because of the valve wasn't. You know, it wasn't touching the surface as much, there was a lot of stuff and corrosion going on, so I had to take the head off, redo the valves, put it back on, uh, and assemble everything back. And as well, I did some mismatching with parts from the second-hand engine and the engine that was in it to kind of get the correct setup, you know, the most historical, precise uh, setup, and as well, some of the carburetor parts were in good conditions, so and the others weren't, and the intake manifolds and all that, so... And also have, I have a big stash of Rover V8 parts as well, so I kind of went around, assembled and actually got an engine that is working. Uh, I didn't have time to put it in myself, so our local mechanic, uh, who's always ready to help us out, then put in the engine and actually got it, got it working. Uh, and from there on, I then put on the belts, uh, auxiliary belts, water pump, cooling system, uh, and kick down mechanism as well. I found that in the big stash of parts we're going to have a look at later. And then now it's standing here ready for its next job, which will be, can you guess it? Probably suspension or exhaust, as you will hear in a minute. Uh, yeah, the, it sounds like somebody has taken a shotgun, a 12 gauge shotgun, and shot the exhaust multiple times. There's just holes everywhere in it. So it's going to be a, lit, a bit noisy, but lucky enough, we've got the luxury cabin, so it's actually quite nice to sit inside, even though. There's no exhaust on it, pretty much. Let's go over here and have a look inside. The doors on the other side doesn't quite open. You need to get through this side to then open that side. Uh, and that's one thing I actually hate, taking these door cards off, because sometimes, pretty much 9 out of 10 times, something breaks in here when you're taking it off. So that'll be a job for another day. But, as Liam said, it smells a lot like an old man. Like, not old man, just like old-ish like an old room somewhere hidden away. That is probably because of the nice leather seats here. You've got leather on the doors, you've got leather on the seats, the uh, center bit there, and as well you've got these not very suitable for muddy shoes uh, mats. And as well as the interior is very 80s, I guess you could call it. Very luxurious, but not very friendly for muddy shoes or oily clothes. Uh, other than that, we got the high-low range, we got the uh, automatic gearbox, we got loads of gauges, I think only one of them is working, as in right now. Got a bit of storage compartment up here, all the valves for the air, the hot air works, 
Uh, and we've got a little control panel as well for the air conditioning, as this is also fitted with an absolute massive of an air conditioning pump. Uh, haven't got that working yet, I need to figure out the probably all the hoses need to get swapped out. I would uh, reckon at the condenser itself as well. Well, that completely standard uh, Rover. Uh, Range Rover Classic interior. And actually, <laughs> yeah, we can't open in the back as well, that's also locked up because of age, I guess. Uh, but we got loads of extra parts from the old engine and auxiliaries, new thingy mobobs for it. Uh, but we don't need those, really. But what we do need, which is also in the back, is this nice sunscreen that goes down. Like, goes like that all the way down so the sun can't go directly into it. And that looks really smart if you fit, fit it that back again. Uh, but it needs to get painted and redone and all that. Now back here is the old engine that was taken apart. Uh, which has been quite nice because we've got loads of parts here we could reuse like a nice good sump, got some valve trains and all that which are which are in good condition. We can definitely re reuse those on another point. Uh, a servo pump, these are quite rare actually for the V8 in a genuine configuration and we got the air filter box. Uh, we're not driving with the air filters on as we're not filtering a lot. Uh, so, but it has been raining the past couple of days, so I'm not too afraid about driving it without. There's no sand or dust in the air. Uh, got some new heads as well, and of course the block here. I was thinking about taking the block and making a table out of it. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but you can't use it for anything. It's completely stuck. Probably these leaves are completely melted onto the pistons or something. Now, not many. I don't know if these were fitted to it. The vehicle from new or the previous owners fitted these. So. Look quite genuine as you have got little rubber pieces so you don't rub onto the paint as you mount it, which is quite nice. It's a nice little feature. Uh, take those off. You've got your normal little catch here. Put it up, and we're missing that little racky leak thing to hold on the thing in my bottom there. So I'll probably source that from Bob as we haven't got a bonnet for him but I actually got it laying in the barn I can just cut that off and put it onto this, this one I think it serves a greater purpose on this vehicle. Uh, other little cool features I actually got a small light up here I think it is. Uh, doesn't work but it will be working so when you've got a breakdown which you of course will because it's a Land Rover you've got a nice little light here you can switch on somewhere from inside and have a look. But here we've got the engine fitted uh, and yeah, pretty much the whole thing has been gone over, washed out, uh, is holding oil and everything fine. The new carburetors, these are the Strombergs 175 and then something after that, I can't remember, but I read the dose, completely cleaned them out, all new gasket kits, uh, new, uh, what's it called, choke wire as well, as that was also seized up. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much most of the old stuff here. Uh, Got generator, servo pump, and here we got the big thing, which is the air conditioning pump. Now, in modern cars, that's about one third of the size of this. As you can see, it is rather big. Uh, but this is what that one and that one, and then the condenser in the front is what makes cold air into the cabin, which is pretty cool. Uh, the servo also works quite well. The the power steering, uh, I didn't think that would be working as well. As you can really much turn it with one hand, which is quite nice. Uh, and the kick down mechanism which was pretty much the only thing I needed to find uh, because we got about three bins in the back of just bolts and things uh, and I was just looking for two brackets, I didn't know how they looked, I couldn't find a picture of them so we're just kind of taking the thing and just trying to play and say nope not that one, next one, nope not that one and I think I found the right ones. Uh, they're not working completely yet but it's on and it looks like it's going to be working in the future. And the last bit is the new radiator. Quite expensive to get a second hand of those. Uh, and new hoses as well for it. But managed to uh, find one, fit straight in. The only thing we need right now before we go out and drive is two bolts holding the shroud in here so it doesn't hit onto the fan. Other than that, I think we should go ahead, start him up, uh, let him get warm a bit and then take him down to the farm. Fit these two and go over the fluids and then probably go for a drive there and have a look and see what it's like to drive a boat on land.
more than 10 minutes or run engine above idle. Hmm. Better get going then. <laughs> it's telling us to drive. I wish I had been recording when I first opened the door to this because of my reaction. Because it was just like the smell that hits you in here. It literally is like old stately home smell. Yes. It's like this wood and leather and you can't like make it, you know? It has to, it's like a 50 year old smell. It has to age. Yeah, it has together. to age. It's like a fine wine. Yeah, this you has gone bad. You can't artificially make that smell. I'm getting a nostalgia from uh, Project Bob in here because like the steering wheel, the, yeah. the dials and everything all match. The thing is, except now we have, you know, door. Oh. I think there's a raccoon stuck in the wheel <laughs> arch. Yeah, so I'm getting nostalgia from Project Bob because of the seats and the wheel and everything, yeah. it's all there. Except now we actually have doors and, you know, yeah. things that make it a car. This is basically. how a Range Rover should Ooh. be, and not like Bob. Oh, that is nice. Oh. And you yes, got the, the now it's a land yacht. Just, there we go. That's nice. <laughs> so, you know, cruising my boat. I would woods. actually love to do a road trip in this. I would love to. I could, if this was completely, you know, made up, looking yeah, nice and yeah. all that and nice driving oh, so that nice. would be a pretty damn cool adventure to do like a six hour drive yes just cruising around windows down i think the aircon on spending six hours in this car by the time you arrive at your destination you will have grown a curly moustache <laughs> <laughs> and a six pence will just appear on your head and <laughs> nice clothes from papa could you clothes. imagine being a farmer in the 80s and so just bought one of these <laughs> and the only thing you go is just go out and have a look at your people how they're doing yeah. like, How's it, how it going? Oh, it's going good, sir. Very nice. I'll go back home to my castle and drink some coffee or tea or... <laughs> no, whiskey. Whiskey, probably. We yeah. only drink whiskey. Oh. What's that? It's a hat. It flies on it. But it looks like it's been eaten. <laughs> you can't smoke. Is that a compartment or something? Is that for hiding drugs? Wait, are you kidding me? Does this hat have a pocket? <laughs> You've got two pockets for drugs. But it's been eaten. That's a drug you can sell now. It's just been made mud by a dog. <laughs> Someone got high and got the munchies and started <laughs> eating this hat. <laughs> Someone it's No, I've got it. You know your door does is like sticky. Yeah. They got locked in here and they couldn't get out. Oh. And they got hungry. Started eating the hat and then they thought oh, I could just go out that side. But it, and it looks like someone spilled like spaghetti bolognese on it. <laughs> That's blood. <laughs> it's brown. It's spaghetti bolognese, I'm telling you. All right, let's okay. go with spaghetti bolognese. What? I'm really, no, I'm so curious now. What chain of events led to this? This has been eaten, and then there's a hat. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God, look, like, he just... Wow. That's a lot of wisdom. That might be the ashes hat. of a dead man who once wore this hat. And this zip is stuck. I like how it kind of matches the theme of the car, though, you know, the colours. Yeah, you beige. thought about it. I think actually there might be one more in the back, and maybe a <laughs> bag or something in the same kind of colour scheme. But that's definitely a... skeleton? <laughs> probably somewhere. Is. We've got loads of dead flies in there as well. Look at oh. But another thing, when you said ashes, I thought about something else. You know, we've got a cigarette, yeah, cigarette lighter. lighter. And two ashtrays. Yes. Because, of course, too, because Obviously. a cigar produces a lot of ash, <laughs> not those small <laughs> cigarettes. But this actually works. And the first time I tested that, I was like, oh, it worked when I pulled it out. It smelled nice, like a proper cigar <laughs> smell, not, you know. Let's see. But that's what this smell is. It's I can smell it. It's like a really nice smell. It actually is. It, is. <laughs> it actually is quite nice smell. And they got like cigar ashes in here as well. So this has been used for soldiers. It's somewhere nice, <laughs> smoking cigars, throwing around in a Range Rover Classic with air conditioning, which is like Cuba the top of the spec. Like yeah, that. definitely Cuba, like the Cold War, driving around, <laughs> probably B8, smoking cigars, oh, nice Cuban man. cigars. Oh, the stories this car can tell. Yeah, it's actually quite comfortable. Though. It That's is. the thing. It, it's like you, you get in my Defender now. We did the same route, and that's know half the age of this mm. and it would be a lot bumpy i get it's a different vehicle like for yeah. a different purpose but still considering how old this is it's actually really comfy it's and quite, you quite know that was obviously the time. purpose of a range rover it's like capability with comfort yeah it's really comfortable really soft apart from those bushes or whatever they are apart from the maintenance no. you can just feel that it's just like something going clunk clunk yeah. clunk <laughs> 
might actually be the suspension's a bit soft in the back, so the wheel might be touching the inner fenders. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like that kind of <laughs> grinding noise. Yeah. So you've got some holes here, see if you can get it. I mean, you can feel the bumps, but they're not harsh, you know? No. And no. then the seats as well, you've got this like captain's chair. Yeah. It's so nice. the noise. If you want that noise now, you've got to spend £120,000 on an SVR Range <laughs> yeah. Rover. You just need a 12 gauge shot and about <laughs> four shells. Oh, this is just... But it's going quite nicely through the gears. You can't feel when it's changing yeah, it from is one actually, gear to another. It's smooth. It's very smooth. It is smooth. Well, the only thing I can't get to work is the kick down because when I put my foot down and it needs to gear down, the revs stay the same way. It needs to like, kick in for the throttle and you know, max out the throttle for it. I think as we're going uphill, I think it's kind of yeah. All the weight, just, all the weight is bouncing off yeah. of that back tire. <laughs> How many kilometers is it done? Uh, I think is that, that is ninety or fifty. I can't read. Fifty-seven thousand nine hundred and twenty-five. But it's not working right now, so it's not. Ah. I don't know how long they haven't been. They might have before. stopped reading in nineteen ninety-three <laughs> or something. <laughs> Yeah, just go to One pint, not one liter. Wait, add one pint. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Then be because of the American transmission, that's not the same as the ZF. 
transmission, the German transmission. So that probably is, you know, you can damage it if it's more than 10 minutes because it's American. And they don't like to wait around. No, and when it's German, it's like, oh, you can do that. That's no problem. No, because the German one is built properly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me in. Aha! Uh -huh. So there's the sunshade thing yeah. that I mentioned. And the top of it as well, like a small spoiler. Like something off a rally car. Yeah. <laughs> then fuel, clutch thing, master switch, distributor that didn't work on this car model, unfortunately. Valves, covers, starter motor, generator, alternator, and here you go. Is that bag or a hat? Is that a that's, bag for the hat? That's a bag for the hat. Or you can wear it as a hat and be weird. So after today I think we've both decided that a Range Rover Classic belongs in our like long-term yeah, car collection. Um, but for sure we will be working on this one at least more and some of you might be wondering what is in this part of our collection. Technically this doesn't belong to us mm -mm. Um, but we do know the owner uh, who lives around here and basically is storing the car here which is why we've been mucking around with it and he's um, let us do that because Nissa has been working on it and yeah, we've just had the go ahead to do more on it. Yeah, so. we just had a go on it that saying, I need all these parts. You just said, go ahead and order it and throw it on there. So we'll definitely do some more workshop videos on this and getting it into shape. Uh, again, this isn't our project, but it has kind of become our project now yeah, because I really yeah. want to see this car driving. It's a win-win because it is because the owner gets uh, a, a restored vehicle and we get to make videos and, and share it with you guys and have a lot of fun. Yeah, because uh, I think we're both falling for it, <laughs> falling yeah. for this car now. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, so what is next? Suspension we mentioned, suspension, yeah. exhaust, bushes. Um, and bushes. Yeah. yeah, complete bush kit onto a uh, exhaust. Hopefully, a stainless steel exhaust should be too bad as the exhaust system already have been taken off and put back on because the engine was out. So, and the rest of it just needs cutting. Yeah, so that should be quite easy. And yeah, bushes. That is, we have done that three times now. We're pretty good at bushes, yeah. so <laughs> that should be a problem. Yeah. And then other than that, I think if we just give it a good clean. Um, it will look really, really smart now. We've just given it a wash now because it was covered in muck from driving around. Um, but if we really give the outside a proper clean and detail and the inside a good clean and get rid of all the junk that's in there as well, it will look super smart. And if we do that in the summer, um, then it will actually stay stay looking yeah. this good because right now it's obviously very wet and muddy. Um, but I think that would go a long way to really smartening this up. And then the other bits we mentioned, um, that's the kind of... Yeah, the things that really need paying attention to now in terms of drivability. Um, so if we get that looked at, then we've got a really, really cool car here. So um, you're going to look into what we can order and how much it's going to cost and when we can get all of that done as well. So um, I'm sure the Range Rover will be returning to the channel very, very soon. But uh, I'm going to go home and look up prices and <laughs> <laughs> try and see how long it takes me to save up for one of these. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. Where do all these Land Rovers come from? Where, how, <laughs> You're out of shape. <laughs>